Good morning, first graders. Today we're going to practice using um, some pictures to help us write some subtraction number sentences. So when we subtract, we always, always, always write the biggest number first, which we like to call the whole. So if you have some Play-Doh, now is a great time to pause this video and go grab some Play-Doh. All right, here we go. So I'm going to start by using my Play-Doh pieces. I have them rolled into balls. and You are going to follow along with me as we tell a number sentence. Are you ready for this? Okay, so there are five pieces of Play-Doh. Now all of a sudden I notice two of them leave the room. So as I have them smashed, that now tells me that my first part that I took away is two. And then how many are left as normal balls of Play-Doh? That would be three. All right. Another way to go about this would be by using a part-part-whole mat. So down in the hole, that's the number that we're going to start with. Let's see. Count with me. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. So let's say we are going to cross out two. I'm going to smash two pieces of Play-Doh. Okay, now I'm going to move them up to my part. And I'm going to move my other ones over to the opposite part. Now let's construct our number sentence. 7 minus, we smashed 1, 2 pieces of Play-Doh has a difference of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very good. So in turn, 7 minus 2 equals 5. All right, so in your math lesson today, you're going to be doing Chapter 2, Lesson 3. It's going to show you pictures, and we're going to start by counting that biggest number, so the whole to tell how many we have in all. Because when we subtract, we take away, and our number always, always, always gets smaller. Nicely done. Good luck, guys. Have a great day.